hello and welcome back to our channel. So today let's see how to create an automated action in order 14 using studio module. So let's open our sales module. And there we have our products. So in the video that is customizing filters and status bar using order 14, we have discussed about adding a new status bar inside a product form. So here we can see that uh, those status. So now in this video, let's take an example that is in order to update the cost of the product when a product goes from into use state to deprecated. So, For that, let's click on the studio. And here you can find automations. So just open that. Okay, currently there are no automated actions created. So let's create a new one. Okay, set product price to zero. And here you can see uh, the model is set as product template. Then here we can set the action to perform. So it is update the record because we want to update the cost. Okay, make it as active and then trigger. So we can trigger fields that is whether on creation or on update like this we can trigger. Okay. Then uh, here we have to add uh, the domain that is the first domain that is before update domain. So uh, this condition must be satisfied before the update of the record. So here we can edit the domain, add filter. Okay, pipeline status bar equal to in use. Then here we can, okay, you can view, there are four records with pipeline status bar in use. Now we can add the second domain that is apply on. So uh, this condition must be satisfied before executing the action rule. So, here we can again edit the row domain. Pipeline status bar equal to okay, prototype. Sorry, duplicate. Okay. Now we have a below a tree view that is data to write. I know that is data to write. So here we can add um, the field cost because we are going to update the field cost inside our product template. Okay. Then we can set the evaluation type. Okay, so set that as value. And so we have to update the cost that is set the cost as zero. So add that value there. Now save it. So automation automated action is created to set the product price to zero when the status changed from in use to deprecated. So let's go back. So 
Okay, here we have a product desk combination. Okay, so now the status is moved to in use. And when you click on duplicate it, you can see automatically the cost is updated and set as zero. So it is so simple uh, by making automated action to perform an act perform an action automatically using studio. So in the same way you can create a different automated action according to your need. So that's all for this video and thanks for watching. And if you have any doubts related to this video, uh, you can add your comments below. And don't forget to subscribe our channel to get latest updates.